Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to implement the prepended function where we're going to add a new node to the front of the list. Now, in the previous video, we added the appended function where we can add data to the end of the list. So maybe watch, make sure you watch that video if you have to. Um, but let's go back to the diagram for a second here. So this time, we're going to push a new item to the front of the list, OK? So when we do this, if the list is empty, of course, they both will be the head and the tail will be pointing to that node and we're done. Otherwise, if there's at least one node in the front, so we only want to make sure that the new nodes point the next node to the head first. Okay, if you don't do it correctly, you're going to lose the data. So you're going to point the new node's next node to the current head node. And then we just have to basically change the head pointing to the new node as the new head. That's all you have to do. Very simple implementation. So let's go back and do this operation. All right, so here we're going to do a new function down here. We'll call it prepend. And so also take the new item coming in, just like above. We're going to create a new node. And this is the node item. And then again, we're going to check to see if that head is null or not. If it is, then you know the both are actually the head already. So set that head is equal to the new node. You can see some you know code repetition here. Um, you can see that I'm, I'm adding this to the new to the head, this to the head, right? So you could write another function just to say add to head, add to tail, right? <clears throat> so you don't have to, to do this every time, but that's okay. Otherwise, if there's at least one, at least one node, then we're going to do the following, right? Very simple. Again, we want to make sure that we do the new node. That next pointer points to the current node. Is in, in this case, it'll be the head node, right? You want to point that first, okay? If you do it opposite, you'll lose the, you'll lose the entire list. Okay, so self that head is not pointing to the new node, okay? By swapping these two uh, order, you can lose the entire list. So be really careful when you do this. And then again, after that, then we want to go back and change the size to a plus one. Okay, as you can see, very simple uh, to do that and add to the list. So now let's go back to the main program over here and um, add a, a new list. So we to have this as a list. We're going to go ahead and add a new one down here. I'll call it down here so we can see what it looks like before and after, okay? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add, um, Oh, what should we add over here? Um, let's see, I put here, uh, pets list dot uh, prepend, right? Prepend, we're gonna prepend a new pet. Let me grab another emoji here. Let's add, I don't know, a froggy. Okay, put a frog right in here, okay? So that means this frog is going to be the one in the front of the dog, okay? If it's correct, right? So we can confirm that by uh, calling this function in this code again. We'll put it right below here. <clears throat> and so the first item should be the frog. And you know what? Maybe I should do this. I'll make it... Um, I know it's not um, nice yet, but we'll do later when we do a feature video. We're gonna do the uh, traversal and print the data, the data together. So let me just update this really quickly, so we can see what's going on inside here. I basically want to put them, you know, side by side. Okay. So let's see this the before and after, and let's see if this works. Okay. So you can see that um, we actually lost something here. Did I lose something? Oh no, no. Yeah, I did not print the fourth item, right? So we see that the uh, the previous list has three dogs three pets, and then we prepend the frog to the front of the list. So you can see that the first item, I mean, then we do this. Okay, it's easier to see this way. Sorry, guys. So the first item is actually the head. If you add another one to the fourth list, you can see how this is a, um, you know, a precursor um, to the uh, traversal. And it's that item. You have the four, four item now. And you can also print the size. Maybe it'll put here, um, you know, uh, pets list that size. Okay, you get the size, and we can see that it should be three there, and then here should be four. Okay, so there we go. 
Let's run it again. And we see that the pet size is three. Now we appended the frog to that list. Now we have four. So again, the implementation looks very similar to the tail and the head. Only thing is you have to watch out for is the order of these down here, okay? Again, if you do it incorrectly, you're gonna lose the data. If I swap these two also, I wanna lose the data. So be careful when you do this. I mean, just follow the arrow, the, the you know, the, the nodes, what should happen first. You have to take care of the next node really, really carefully. Okay, so that is it. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to traverse the, the list so we can print them out. You don't have to do these manual work here. Okay, so see you guys in the next video.